Hi folks, this is District Governor John coming to you again today with another Governor's Vlog. Super excited today. We are coming to you a couple of days in advance of something called the Interact Summit, uh, putting, being put together by our Interact Chair for the District this year, Sal Frankie, who is a member of the Mechanicsburg North Club and, and was instrumental in helping us launch uh, a very successful Interact Club, has agreed to help the district uh, by talking people through Interact. How does it work? Why would you establish it? How do you coordinate? It's, there's so much and yet it's so valuable because of the impact for the high school kids. So today we're here to talk to Sal. Sal is uh, over to my left. Anyway, and uh, Sal, why don't you tell them a little bit about who you are, what you do when you're not doing Rotary, and then uh, talk a little bit about uh, Interact. Uh, well, uh, thanks, John. I, I really appreciate the opportunity. And um, I've been a Rotarian for about six and a half years, <clears throat> um, coming over from Lancaster Sunrise to the uh, McCasburg North Rotary Club about three years ago. And, um, you know, as soon as I came to the club, uh, I, I wanted to step right in and continue doing some awesome things. And uh, I will say about two and a half years ago, um, the opportunity presented itself to potentially do an Interact Club at East Pennsboro uh, High School of the East Pennsboro School District, uh, located in, in NOLA, PA. And <clears throat> I said to myself, you know, I just want to be someone that that's available uh, to youth. Um, you know, as, as my profession is a district director with the Boy Scouts of America uh, here locally in Mechanicsburg, PA. And uh, I've been doing that for over six years and been a scouter, you know, most of my life. And working with youth, um, is, is something that not only is my job, it's my passion. It's something that I want to continue to, um, to forecast, uh, not only in my life, but in the life of those around me. I have a 17 year old son now who's a, a high school senior, and I want him to, to see the benefits of Rotary and also see the benefits of, of a service above self. So we wanna be able to do that um, going forward, and we're looking forward to a great year of starting new clubs um, um, going forward. So we had, we, had, we talked a little bit about the success that we've had uh, at in McCashburg North. I think in the first year we had, was it 60 or 70 young kids, uh, younger folks at the high school sign up yeah. as part of Interact, is that right? That's correct. And it all started with, with one youth. Um, Sam Grubb um, was someone that was willing to, to, to start um, the club going forward. Uh, she's the uh, the daughter of Steve Grubb. Um, some of you, you may know him. Um, and uh, she began uh, just beginning to, to reach out to friends and what have you. And then the second piece was a great uh, um, person at the high school, uh, Margo Kronz, who was able to step in and be a mentor. And then it just began to roll. And I began to start getting involved and visit their uh, their meetings and, and, and they just started doing some awesome stuff. And um, by, I want to say that the spring of 2019, they had over 70 members. That is, um, that's just incredible. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, yes, yeah, so, um, the other the other piece of it is that now the, the club as of last summer is actually registered with the national organization, which is the you know, RI. So we're really, really uh, happy about that. Um, they uh, Now Sam has actually graduated from the high school and they already have officers in place for the 2021 year. So uh, we're looking forward to the first meeting uh, coming up here in October. That is spectacular. In fact, that's one of the things that we talk about uh, on Thursday night, right? It's on our agenda to talk about how other clubs, co so existing Interact clubs, how are they going to exist in this kind of odd year of COVID? And then in addition to that, um, looking out to clubs who want to start an Interact club, just like you did, um, how do we how do we help make that happen, especially this year? I mean, the kids may be at home for a long period of time, and and but still want to be of service to the community. So, you know, that's part of what we're going to talk about. Yeah, so, um, you know, you know, we, you know, we'll get into it more on Thursday night, but uh, it's all about passion. It's all about passion for youth. It's about passion about Rotary in the hands of the, the future 
Rotarians that we are hoping to cultivate. So we want to be able to put in their hands the knowledge, the experience, the passion that we have for uh, for our community uh, into their hands. And to be honest with you, these kids are incredible. They they ran with it. I was just there supporting. I wasn't looking to micromanage. You know, here and there I would give a suggestion, but they um, their passion is uh, comes from within. And we just need to be there to walk alongside them for the ride. These kids are, are are pretty awesome. And you know, our goal for you know Thursday night is to continue to inspire other other uh, clubs to do the same. Um, that when you go into uh, trying to cultivate this kind of um, club, that you're not going in there trying to tell them what to do. Uh, you're just going alongside them, let them be creative, let them do their thing. Believe me, they will surprise you with how awesome they are. Yeah, and the nice thing about Interact is that we can have an impact on these young folks. Uh, I keep calling them kids, but they're really young adults, leaders. We can have an impact <clears throat> and it doesn't cost us very much to make that happen, right? Is at almost any club in our district, any club in our district could start an Interact club uh, because it doesn't take a big piece uh, financially. It really just takes, as you talk about, the passion, your passion as a Rotarian and the passion of the kids, right? Finding those children, those young adults who want to be of service to their community. Uh, that's correct. Um, you know, our club, the North Mackensburg North Rotary Club, uh, we spent very little um, in the sense of, but even though we had money aside if they needed it, but they were so self-sufficient. Um, they got donations, um, they had, they had a, a, a book drive, they had a book bag drive, they had a, um, you know, went out to, to several organizations um, uh, for uh, rescue animals, uh, also for elderly care facilities. <clears throat> and, you know, they got themselves there, um, they, they brought their own supplies. Um, and, you know, they did a lot of awesome things on their own. So uh, uh, these, these kids are, are, are what we call um, you know, entrepreneurs at heart in regards to service. Uh, it's not to make money, but to, to make an impact on the lives of people that they interact with. It's fantastic. So I, I, I'm very excited about what's going to happen on Thursday. I think it may be, uh, you know, it's another one of the benefits of, um, you know, when we try to make lemonade out of this COVID thing, that we can pull together a lot of people on Zoom and really talk through how to help them help uh, the young adults across the district. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Now, um, we're going to record it. So if they, people can't make it on Thursday, uh, it'll be posted to the website. What time are we getting together? Yeah, we're getting out together on uh, Thursday, uh, September 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Um, uh, Melissa uh, Kopp has, has sent out um, a, a link for that. Um, we encourage you to, to come and be a part of it. If your club has a club, uh, Interact Club, or doesn't have an Interact Club, and you want to learn more, um, believe me, um, we'll, we'll be fired up to, to be able to get you the sort of the know-how to, to get it done and then walk alongside you. This is not a, hey, we'll give you the tools and you're on your own. Uh, I'll be available uh, whenever you need me um, uh, to be able to walk you along side and come out and make some visits if when all this lemonade <laughs> COVID uh, calms down but the truth is this is that you know um, once you get the, the components in place um, the train ride can it can be real pretty cool as you see these kids blossom before your eyes it's true Sal what's the best way for somebody who's interested to get a hold of you yeah so the best way for me um, is uh, through my um, you know, you can you can use my uh, um, your email through uh, um, to the district um, uh, the district email or my my personal email at work at sal at scouting org. Um, you can give me a call on my cell phone. I don't have, I have a problem um, giving you that at seven one seven three 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 four eight four six. That's great, Sal. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to Thursday night. Thanks for agreeing to do this vlog with us to kind of get the information out there in advance. And uh, very exciting about what, what we may be able to get done this year with Interact. I, I think we can really impact some lives, which is awesome. Thanks for stepping up. Yeah, no problem, John. Thank you for, uh, uh, for giving me this opportunity. 
um, to, to serve at a, at a, at a more, um, at a, a wider level. And, and uh, I look forward to, to seeing the, uh, you know, what's going to be happening out there in the Rotary District. Thank you. All right, folks, you heard it here Thursday night. Uh, we're going to have a great event. Um, Sal's going to share uh, some resources, give you maybe a toolbox of uh, ideas and things that you can do. Uh, these governor vlogs are out there for us to uh, gain a little bit more knowledge about what's happening around the district and uh, how we can plug in. So if you have something that you're working on that you feel uh, you'd like to get out to the district, please reach out to me. I'm happy to put these together and get them out as quickly as uh, as we can uh, and have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. We will see you around the wheel.